All right, so we are actually on the Shell Towie Trace. Um, looks like the trail is actually across the road from me. It comes out just over here. Oh, I see the blue spigot for water. Cool. So we're I'm at Clark Farm. Um, a family here lets hikers camp this pavilion they have set up. Let me see if I can get it. Well, it's in cinema, but it's back here behind me. They've got a pavilion and everything set up for hikers on the Shell Towie. So I am meeting Jason Wish here, and we're going to, well, he's attempting the self-supported FKT of the Shell Towie. So this is our first aid station. I'm meeting him here. Uh, we're going to camp here tonight, I think is the plan. I'll drive him to the northern terminus in the morning, and he'll head out at about 4 a.m. This will be the first stop. Um, so just give you a heads up. That's what's going on. Uh, something I haven't done before. So I'm crewing this adventure. Um, it was supposed to have actually started Monday, but, um, Jason got injured trying to do the new rugby extension and, but he's healed up. We've been praying about it. He's feeling great. So we decided we, I could still crew him. This is Wednesday of the week, so I'll crew him Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and part day Sunday. Then I'll head back home. He's got some other people helping him out after that. All right, so we've got Jason's here. We've been talking shop. This is all my food and stuff over here. I'm trying to get organized. We just mixed up a bunch of tailwind for him for tomorrow. Um, we're going to go over maps and stuff. He's over at his truck organizing some stuff. And I think we're going to, I don't know. Um, sorry for spinning around. I may start a fire. We've got this nice little fire pit. I may get a fire going. It's getting cooler than I thought it was going to. I think it's supposed to get in the 40s tonight now. So um, I'm glad I brought the 30 degree and the 50. Uh, right now I'm just going to start with the 50 tonight. I've got warm clothes, so if I need to throw stuff on, I may just do that, but I'm going to repack stuff tomorrow just to make sure everything fits in the truck. And I'll keep you guys up to date on what we do. We do, we have a, uh, a guy that came in that's hiking the trail. I think he's just hiking to here and then hiking back. Um, but he was just, I think he said he was just trying to check out and make sure he was still, still in good hiking shape. So we are going to, uh, like I said, I think eat something and then we're going to Hang out for the night, so I'll keep you guys up to date. Little correction, we will have no fire tonight. I just noticed there's flags at the fire pit they have, and they have written on them burn bans. So we are going to honor that because um, these people have graciously allowed hikers to use their private property in this camp they have set up for their family um, to stay at. So we're going to honor that and just have a good time tonight and chat, and then we'll hit the sack. So keep you guys up to date. All right, just a quick update. It's 10 till 9, everybody else is asleep. You know me, I don't sleep a lot, so we'll try and get some rest. We've got six hours before we're getting up. So, um, just kind of made some plans for tomorrow and what we're going to do and trying to organize what I'm taking and what I'm leaving. And prayed about what to do about leaving a car, whether I'm going to try and leave it here or the Northern Terminus. So, talk to you guys in the morning. All right, so just dropped Jason off uh, five minutes ago. It's 33 degrees. It's colder than we planned on it being this morning. We thought it was supposed to be 40-ish. Yeah, 33. So, anyhow, um, I'm getting ready to head back to the first aid station. I got a couple things I need to get done there before he gets there. So he's got nine, just over nine miles to get back to aid station one, get some stuff staged up. And then I'm gonna actually be looking at how I need to go to get to the next stop and kind of plan out my day and get that all worked out. So keep you guys up to date. All right, so I'm back at aid station one, which is where we camped last night, got camp down and everything ready to go. I've got all his um, flasks ready. Uh, the food he told me he thought he might want when he got here is out. So it's been two hours exactly. So I'm expecting any time now to see a light start coming down from the mountain up here above me. Um, 
or I thought I might even hear him beforehand with all the leaves. So I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. I've got like, I've got to grab two things over from the picnic table that I was about to head out to do, but I figured I'd chat with you guys real quick. So that's what's going on. Um, <laughs> it's, it's interesting, it's gonna, I guess it's nice to be able to take down camp slowly and be meticulous, make sure nothing gets missed. So that is nice from my perspective of not being rushed at the moment. So, all right, I'll keep you guys up to date. All right, so we just came out where the forest, they'll come off this forest service road here. Sorry about that tilt. And go down the road a little bit and then we'll jump on a forest service road and I'll run down there for a little ways and then he will meet me at the, where there's a gate at the end of it. And that will be that. <laughs> so then I'll <laughs> drive on to the next spot. <laughs> Sorry, stumbling just sent me a text. As you can see, beautiful morning and it's definitely warmer up here on the ridge. That's what Jason had told me where he was at down below too. He said, man, it was like way warmer down there than that Clark farm where we camped, man. It was cold. So, all right, I'll keep you guys up to date. All right, we're at Eagle Lake Trailhead. Well, I'm at Eagle Lake Trailhead. I'm making a grilled cheese from my man Jason. Um, he said he was doing really good, so got doing some grilled cheese, some chips, and I think he said some watermelon in this stop. Um, prepping some more tailwind, and just waiting for him to get here. It was supposed to take half an hour to get down here. I think I made it down in 25 minutes. That forest service road wasn't terrible, so. Uh, so I'm just waiting for him to roll in here and get him packed up, stacked up, calorie up, and then we'll have him head out again, and then I need to I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna check and see. I know the next stop's about five miles from here, so get that situated, keep you up to date. All right, still waiting, but let me tell you, this is not a bad place to have to wait. This is Eagle Lake at Moorhead State University, so. Uh, apparently a geology class went out there to do some something, probably take samples or I don't know what they're doing, but just waiting for Jason to get in. I got here and yeah, was, made sure I had his grilled cheese ready to go and stuff. and. He's not here yet, so it's almost, we got three minutes till 10, so I have to figure out where we going for six hours, and this would be, this is just shy of mile 25, so yeah, if he, yeah, if he hit 24 at 10 and then gets here and we can get in and out of here quick, then we'll stay on about a four mile an hour pace, but keep you guys up to date. Oh, made it to the next stop. Waiting for Jason. He's got a bit of a road walk to get up to here. Um, barky dog if you go past here, but if you're hiking, you know, and not driving, you don't need to go past here. So I had to get turned around. But anyhow, we're going to keep on trucking. He said he's feeling great. So I'm going to, I need to fill up some flasks so that he's ready to go for this next section. And then I'll keep you guys up to date. All right. Well, tried to get to the forest service road to get to jason early and that was a bust so uh, i came down to clear creek campground where we're supposed to meet up and it's three o'clock he should be here between 5 30 and 6. so i'm gonna go back up the road there is a country store up here and i'm just gonna see what they have and i really need to wash my hands my hands are real sticky and dirty from mixing tailwind and just other stuff just pickles and just all kinds of stuff that you know prepping and stuff so i have been trying to clean them before i prep food but i'd like to get them washed really good and i know there's uh, well i'm assuming there's a bath public bathroom up here so and take advantage of that see if there's anything in there that strikes my fancy <laughs> and then i don't know i may go come back down here i may go come over here and hang out by the lake it's really pretty like I said, he's not supposed to be through here until 5.30 or 6. And down there, there's no signal, but up here, I think there is signal. So I may just hang out up here, then I can actually track him on his inReach. And then I know when I need to head down, or at least 
a good amount of time to head down because I'm gonna actually supposed to pan fry some pierogies and uh, stuff for him for dinner or for early dinner, uh, uh, the 5.30 to 6 dinner. And then I think later on, we're gonna do some soup and stuff that his wife prepared. So just give me a heads up, I'll keep you guys up to date. All right, first little snafu. Neither Jason nor I thought about the fact that when I left him last, which we are hoping maybe I could catch him in a poor service road. If I tried that, I think I told you, and it's blocked. Unless you have an off-road vehicle, like a, you know, side-by-side -side or something like that, then you can get up the road. But even where it ends, it's still about a mile, I think, from the trace. Well, maybe not. Maybe it goes all the way, or almost all the way. But, so I went down to the store, I got this and stuff, and then I realized, you know what? I need to check out on my, I was coming back up here, so I thought, well, maybe I can still get to him. So I decided to come back up sorry about that, and turn down at the horse camp and see what happens if I come that way. So I came down here and there is a connector to the Shell Towie. That was only a three quarter of a mile one way to connect. So as you can tell, that's what I'm doing. So threw my gear on and I'm gonna meet him or hopefully meet him because when I checked I had still only one bar but I was able to get I think a decent ping on his Garmin so I think I know he was around about 41 or 42 so I think I'm just gonna have to wait here at 46 and then once I get him I'll get his headlamps to him I'll jog back to the truck and then head back to the campground and get ready for him to show up pan fried and pierogies and I think the soup may be thawed enough so I may heat him up some soup whatever I brought him some Tums I talked to Michael he said make sure he's got some more Tums because his stomach's a little off so I brought those with me <clears throat> tried an AL8 cherry never had an AL8 before it's definitely an interesting flavor kind of a little bit like a cheer wine sort of not exactly but sort of so, I'll just keep you guys up to date. Stumbelina, Stumbelina would love it too. I walked through a web back there and I think I had a big orb weaver on me. I couldn't find it. And then I just now felt something like coming around the back of my neck. I was like, nope. Whew. Flung that joker. I was like, mm -mm, no sir, not to do. So, let's see if you can see it. Mm. So that's the connector trail. It says only a half mile back to camp. What is falling down from the sky? Must be seed pods from these trees. But anyhow, we're here. Now we wait. I've got my headlamp, so if I dig, it starts getting dark when I head back. Sundown's supposed to be 5.30, 5.26, so we'll see what happens. But it is pretty hazy. There is a fire. Um... I don't think it's actually on the shell tally is what I was told, but there is a fire. So I know when I was on my way up, it was super hazy in some of the sections. So hopefully that is the good thing about if it does rain and we get an inch of rain, hopefully that will take care of the fire. So, all right, keep you guys up to date. All right, so I've uh, successfully rendezvoused with him got him headlamp or headlamp i should have brought a water i didn't oh well um but as you can see behind me got the truck set up i'm getting ready to cook I'm gonna pan fry some pierogies got some soup getting ready to put on the simmer i've got his uh nemo switchback pad laid out actually on the table down here just so it's good and flat and chair set up so i'm gonna knock out some cooking here i'm trying to decide how soon to start because i'm not sure if he's gonna roll up how close to 5.30 or if it's going to be closer to 6. And, you know, I mean, I get it. If the food's too hot, then you can't eat it fast, but you don't want cold food either because that's kind of the benefit of having someone to cook food for you is having hot food or at least, you know, appreciably warm food. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm probably going to give it 
10 more minutes because I don't think the soup's going to take long, nor do I think pan frying these uh, pierogies are going to take long. So then we'll go from there. He's going to take a little rest and we're going to see what we're going to do next. I think we're going to push at least a mile 60 or so, I believe, is the next jump. Um, and Michael's supposed to be coming to meet us. I'm trying to see. I'll pull it out in a little bit, but Michael's going to meet us tonight. So I've already started kind of reorganizing the back of the truck. I was able to stack one of the bins into another bin and reorganize some stuff and get my bin in here so it's not taking up a bunch of room in there. I'm thinking about, as well, um, getting the generator out of there and getting it back in a corner somewhere because it's just it's bulky. And if we're going to need to run it, it's got to be out of the truck anyway, so it would be easier just to run it in the back of the truck. So I think I may move it back out into the back of the truck. Uh, but I'll no wait till Michael gets here and we'll figure that out. Um, so like I said, it's getting close to cook time. So keep you guys up to date. Table there or anything? Feet lay on. Oh. Man, I made a big boo boo. I, I took the old route and went a half mile the wrong way. Ooh. I would have been here 15 minutes ago. All right, so we had to come all the way up to Corner Ridge to find a place to camp. Um, me and Michael are actually just sleeping in the trucks. We set Jason up. Got him ready to go. Got him in bed. He has stuff ready for the morning. So we just it's supposed to start raining tonight. 50% chance or half an inch. I'm sorry of rain tonight. And then rain all day tomorrow. And then maybe snow on Saturday. So good times. So we'll see what happens. But um, I figured I'd just give you guys a little update. Um, got 65 uh, miles done today so we're getting up at three and we're gonna get him back out there and we're gonna start going again so keep you guys up to date all right rainy morning we are at the suspension bridge on shell tally or almost on the shell tally we're not really on the shell tally so michael went down to meet jason i'm actually gonna start walking down that way myself just i needed to uh take advantage of some facilities and stuff. We've been here for about a little over an hour. So we weren't sure what time he was gonna get down here. Stomach, Jason's stomach has not been doing well since last night. He's hoping that if he gets halfway through today, like when he's had stomach issues before, he'll be fine. So that's what we're shooting for. So we're meeting him here at Suspension Bridge and then so he's got a, had a nine mile run from where we slept last night. He made, got the four and a half miles in about an hour from when I dropped him and Michael off. And then me and Michael took down camp and got everything moving and got over here. So we'll be it. I'm trying to remember the name of the campsite now. It's in the Natural Bridge Resort area over there. Um, so. That's what's going on. There's definitely water down here in the river. And it's been raining off and on since sometime early this morning. Um, the forecast looks like it's supposed to stop around six. Yeah, sure so. So we'll see what happens. Definitely prayed about it this morning, you know, with the temperature drop coming in and all that, it'd be really nice if it, and actually you guys can't see it, but I can see up ahead. It looks like it, maybe it's clearing, so. Praise the Lord if it clears up because it would be really nice to get some sun, get his tent dried out, and get all of our, get us dried out. And just, especially with this temperature drop coming, it would be nice to have everything kind of dry and squared away. So, all right, to keep you guys up to date. So, I've been slacking on video today because it's been raining and it's a mess. And right now, Roadside pierogies. 
So Jason's feeling better. Uh, it's still raining off and on. We're supposed to have rain until five or so. Then we're supposed to have about 12 hours of clear and then it's supposed to rain for five more hours. So we'll see what happens, but I figure I give you a little sneak peek of uh, the glamorous life of a uh, FKT crew <laughs> member who sticks his phone in front of the camera so he can actually flip his uh, pierogies. But, all right, hope you guys are having a great time. Hope you're enjoying the video. There may not be as much footage maybe as I thought there might be, but you know what? It's really busy doing this. So there's a lot, a lot to keep this thing, this train running. So, all right, I'll keep you guys up to date. All right, it's the end of day two. Um, and Jason's gonna make a call in the morning on what we're gonna do. Um, only made it about 47 miles today. His feet are beat up pretty bad. He's got a real deep bru or blister forming on his foot. Um, and with the weather, you know, we had rain probably 12, 16 hours today, probably total. Um, and then tomorrow it's actually supposed to not rain until around seven in the morning. And then it's supposed to rain for about five hours and it's getting colder. It's potentially going to snow or sleet. So just with all those factors, um, he's going to make a call and based on what he feels like he needs to do. Um, he's been praying about it. I'm going to pray about it here in just a few minutes and we'll go from there. So keep you guys up to date. Jason ended up calling the attempt, and I went and got some pizza and headed home. <laughs>